Yo, this is Endless Ocean, yo! Word. We're gonna go with that pirate ship. Go check it out. Uh, again? Yeah, well, they're, they're, we're going there during the day now. There might be something new. Oh, is, is the Death God there during the day? No. Oh, okay then. Is there a Life God? Well, I think that's actually what the Ancient Mother is, but no, no, she she is not there. No. It would be awfully convenient if we just solved it and be like, Hey, Catherine, we didn't need the buoys at all, you know. This pirate ship thing did all your work for you. I'm sorry. I would be for that. Pirate ship. See, the beluga's so much nicer than Skippy. He is. It's just pleasanter. I think he's got a better model, actually. Well, yeah. It's like the other bottle nose. Like, oh, we don't really have to put much time in it. It's, it's, it's a bottle nose. Everybody knows what those are. Yeah. They have to really sell the, you know, less popular stuff. Like, that's why all those uh, Starks Demazels look fucking amazing. Yeah, well, that and their, you know, proximity to ancient treasure. Well, yeah, that's true. They, they get an added bling factor. There you go. God, I love that beluga. Surprise! Oh. It's, it's, it's an orca. Fuck. They're like lions. Sea lions. Sea sea lions. Uh, uh, like having a huge bodyguard that would murder everything. Oh, it's gonna kill that beluga. Save the beluga. No, he is not. But yes, the orca is the final unlockable companion, and we are going to befriend him, because we would not like to make him our enemy. That owns so hard. Yes. Y yes, it does. To clarify, Orcus is the original Roman god of the underworld, just like he's Hades, and that's also the term for the underworld itself. So it's literally the whale from hell. And it's quite fitting, given that we are at the ship's rest, you know, the ocean's graveyard. So we are essentially in the underworld right now, of the ocean anyways. Yeah, I'll give you that. Him being here makes sense. The killer whale, also known as the orca, is a large oceanic dolphin. It is the largest dolphin by far, reaching over 30 feet 9 meters in length. Their size, pods, hunting habits, and intelligence make the orca the alpha predator of the entire ocean. Period. They eat fish, squid, seabirds, including penguins, and often other marine mammals, particularly seals and sea lions. They will feed on other whales, though, and have not observed killing juvenile blue whales on occasion. Killer whales hunt in pods of up to 40 individuals, forming dynamic social structures. These structures vary in purpose and permanence, though. Long-lasting resident pods tend to feed on fish and other small marine life, while the transient pods tend to focus on hunting marine mammals. Orcas being as intelligent as they are make them extremely effective cooperative hunters. One interesting hunting technique in the orca's repertoire is their knowledge of certain cartilaginous fish's susceptibility to tonic immobility. They can force some sharks to swim upside down, which causes physiological issues with the shark and resulting in a growing paralysis, which then often leads to death. Which is quite a useful trick if you can manage it without the shark attacking you. So it's a pretty effective hunting technique. Killer whales will eat basically anything in the water though. They are very flexible in their hunting technique and smart enough that they'll take anything. Transient orca populations have been observed eating swimming deer and moose, even. They seldom attack humans, though, if ever. There have been no observed killing of people by orcas in the wild, and the few times that it's happened in captivity, it's usually been an accident where the orca is playing with a person that goes a little too far. Resident orcas have never been observed hunting porpoises or seals and will often play with them. 
However, they can often harass or aggressively play with, if you will, these animals to the point of killing them. Resident populations are typically matriarchal groupings consisting of a matriarch and her descendants. Given that orcas can live up to 90 years of age, these familial pods can then grow quite large. These matriarchal groupings, or matrilines, will then join together into larger conglomerates, the traditional quote-unquote pod. Each pod, then, is a grouping of families, often very closely related, that cooperate in hunting. The social level above pods are clans, a collection of interrelated pods with observed similar linguistic vocal patterns. And further above them are communities, clans that regularly commingle but do not share vocal patterns. In essence, they're speaking different languages, but they're in the same area and will cooperate on occasion. So as you can see, the social structure isn't too dissimilar from our own or other complex animal quote-unquote societies. Transient pods, meanwhile, are typically smaller matrilines that move about and aggregate together fluidly during hunting events. They don't form a sort of permanent structure as we have with the resident populations. The dichotomy between resident orcapods and transient orcapods could, if we allow a bit of personification for a second, be compared to the difference between a permanent human encampment and the notion of a human hunter-gatherer wandering group. So, so yeah, um, orcas, they're, they're pretty smart, which is pretty cool. Does give them the potential to be quite assholes, though, but that's, that's true of people, too. You can't be a sociopath unless you have the potential to be social in the first place. Just how it goes. An added thing that I'm not going to be showing is that if you get all three of his data entries, in his third data entry, it says that he was sent here by the Ancient Mother to make sure that Magutapa, our old Death War shark friend, not go kill people. So it's, it's also tying into that too with the whole Orca place. So the game is a bit smart with how it places stuff and has its own internal mythology. At least with the Latin names. Maybe that's why Magutapa's all scarred up, just the orc is fucking him up. <laughs> that could be. He may have once looked, been a pristine looking giant death shark, and he only looks nasty thanks to the orca. I can believe it. So, when you played Endless Ocean, you never actually got to the ship, huh? No, I, yeah, I lost interest in the first one pretty quick. Completed the story, but I never actually did all the extra shit. Yeah, it, it's a little annoying getting to 100% completion with all the stupid little crap. I fucking 100% of the second one, though. Yeah, you went over the top with that. That was an ordeal. It's kind of stupid that the game never really hints that you have to get some sort of completion percentage to find things, though. Yeah, that's pretty much why I never got here. Oh wow, it's not another one. It's not a Starks and Mazel. Oh, Starks and Mazels are found in places of life. This is a place of death, okay? I, I made that up. Yeah, I know. Got some more bearing wolfish. Being all creepy ugly. Creepy little wolf eels, yeah. Not actually eels. Yep. I really want to complain about those being down this far south, but then I'm like, I guess maybe the ghost ship took you somewhere. Yeah, I suppose, but they made some comment about the uh, Pacific Triangle or whatever, and that that's pretty south. That's below Japan, so <sighs> you, you could complain here. I mean, if you wanted to. I choose not to this time. This time. They're just cool fish. You, you can't argue with them. I don't know. They're, they're, I, I think walruses are pretty cool, and you argued about them. I did. But then that was just some bullshit. 
Like, I don't mean just location-wise, just the sheer physics of him getting onto the deck. Yeah, well, it used its tusks. Oh, wow. Look at those. We have a nice little view of some migrating manta rays that appear here for some reason. I don't know why, but it looks cool as hell. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. The game does do that a lot. You get scenes like this that are just kind of impressive to look at. It's just... You know, there's no real point to just staying here to watch it, but it just looks nope. it just looks cool. I you know, it's like that that's a fine. You can have a cool thing. That's what the game does well. Work is still dicking around. Yep, and I think we'll go back to the boat because we have to come back here again to get our second time around with your orca to recruit him, as it were. That is such an obnoxious mechanic. It is. I'm I'm very glad that they fixed that in the second game. Doesn't pirate ship move now? Am I thinking? Only if you change the time it will. So uh. we can go straight back in, so it won't matter. But we will have to change the time, but if we're lucky it won't. Right. And there's a thing about a dive report, which is probably from the radars, but we're not going to check that because Fuck that, we got an orca to look at. Yeah. Sorry, Catherine. We're not wasting our time with your stupid whale project. The whale can wait. We got shit to do with an orca and a death god death. Yeah. Don't quite care that supposedly we're supposed to go immediately there to see if the whale moves or not. I, I think it'll stay there. You know, I don't think it's going anywhere. Yeah. Should brought Skippy. Maybe the orc will fuck him up. I'm not that malicious. I am. Just because he's disinterested in us is doesn't mean that I gotta murder him. Wouldn't be murder. Oh, okay, what do you? Predation. Look. All orcas do is murder things. It's what they're known for. Just sheer, utter... I mean, all dolphins are kind of assholes because they are intelligent. That It goes with the whole smartness thing. But they're really assholes. Yeah, they are. Like, they're incredible douchebags. It's a pretty big plane. Yeah, I don't think it's a fighter. It's definitely not a fighter, no. No, not that I, big. I, no, it definitely is not a fighter. It's most likely a bomber. Yes. Most definitely a World War II bomber. Now, the orca moves after the first time to around this wing for some reason. I, I, I don't know why they have them change locations between times you encounter them, but. He always wanted to be is. a pilot. Maybe someday, buddy. Maybe someday. Look, I don't want to think about an orca flying a bomber. That that would be the worst thing. That would be they're the death of the enough. human race. Yes, they're smart enough. They're they're too fucking smart. They they kill us all. Not if there's awesome seals first. Look, they'd kill everything. They they would not stop. It, it'd be like giving man a bomber, and as history has shown, that can be a bad thing. Spooky. And the final artifact piece. That fish knows something. It's done something with the Demoiselle. It's a good thing you just magically teleport out of caves and shit like that. Presumably he magically teleports into the pirate ship and then back again. Yeah. But whatever. Yes, we, we saw it five seconds ago. Oh my. We would check him out, but you're going to tell us about a thing. <sighs> yep, artifact piece. Piece of an artifact. Except for being in pieces. I don't know about old artifacts, except for all the others. I'm not going to say anything about it. I knew about that idol, but I'm not going to talk about the statue. I don't think it was like this one at all, but it was fat. I had one just like this, except not at all. Yes, that dialogue made no sense. And then she lost it. I want you to take a good look at this statue right here. Yeah, okay. What does this look like a statue of? 
Buddha? Yes. In the Japanese game, it is, in fact, obviously stated that it is Buddha. And Catherine says, hey, it's a statue of Buddha. But apparently that's too offensive for the American release, and I have no idea why. Namasan. Why would you leave that out, though? I, I don't get it. I mean, it's not like this game is secular as hell. I mean, we are hunting down a whale god. We've... We, we constructed an evil idol that killed some cultist man over the internet or something. Hey, 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 we can't be showing these kids the, the Buddha. We can't be showing them that, no. Also, we gotta sell this coral. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It, it's just quite... I don't, I don't get the sudden morals with regards to that, because like, what? Uh -huh. I mean, you can find statues of other religions underwater. It's fine. It doesn't mean anything. Yeah, we we found y Yosoka. Yeah. I think he likes you. I don't know. I, I don't want him to pull me underwater and do what orcas often do when they like a person too much. <laughs> it's murder. That's what they do. I had to think about how to spell Hambone. Yes, I named this Orca. It's a good name. Yeah, it is. So we've got Skippy, Horatio, and Hambone. These are our three friends. And it's time to give them all a chance to strut their stuff. Oh boy. Gonna queue up so many things. Zorak, no. All the things. Zorak! I'm gonna queue them all. Zorak, no! Gonna queue so much. No! It won't stop. It stop will it. never stop. Zorak, I'm, I'm gonna keep on you doing to stop. it. No. We're doing no. this. Stop it! It's, it's happening. No. No! I can't undo it. It's impossible. It, too it much. shall happen. Oh God! Uh, Why would you do this? Uh, the osprey, Pandian haliatus, is a large bird of prey found near bodies of water worldwide. They have a very distinctive appearance, having a scruffy white head and body with black wings and a stripe going down their eyes like a mask. Though sometimes called a fish eagle or sea hawk, the osprey is neither a hawk nor eagle, but a member of its own family. They're unlike other diurnal birds of prey in that their outer toe is reversible, allowing them to grip the slippery fish that they eat with a more even grip. The remarkable thing about the osprey is its pan-global distribution of one species. Osprey are found on every continent natively but Antarctica and South America, and even then there are large breeding vagrant populations across South America. In the summer, they're found from Alaska to Florida, North America, and Scotland and Scandinavia in Europe. They winter in North Africa and Southern Asia. They're found along the Australian coast and even on a few islands in the Pacific. These things are found goddamn everywhere, and that is pretty fucking cool. The actual origin of the name Osprey is pretty obscure. Nobody's actually really sure what it comes from. It was first recorded in 1460 from the Anglo-French Osprey and the medieval Latin Avis Pred, which mainly means bird of prey. Through this, the Oxford English Dictionary actually notes a connection with the Latin Osafraga, or Bonebreaker, by Pliny the Elder. But this actually refers to a different bird, the Bearded Vulture. Speaking of Pliny the Elder, check this shit out. Uh, dude thought a lot of weird fucking shit about animals. Uh, the Osprey is no different. He believed that the parents of Ospreys would force their young to fly up to the sun as a test. And then if they fucking failed, they'd just off them right off, because fuck that shit. Osprey generally mate for life, always returning to the same huge distinctive nest each year. If you look on posts near bodies of water, you can generally see these year-round. Just look for gigantic piles of sticks and shit on telephone lines, buoys, etc. They're hard to miss. These birds are also a conservation success story. In the 1950s and 60s, it was affected much like the bald eagle and other birds of prey by DDT. DDT is, by the way, the stupidest addition to Millipede and why Centipede is the greatest arcade game of all time. The DDT fucked up the Osprey's calcium metabolism, resulting in a thin shell, usually infertile eggs. Following the banning of DDT in the early 1970s, the Osprey and other birds of prey have made a recovery in numbers. 
I genuinely love Osprey. They're one of my favorite animals. Watching them hunt is pretty awesome. They've got a very distinctive cry that I always have to look around for when I hear. Wait a second. Those aren't Osprey. What the hell type of Osprey is this? Your orca is very small, are you aware of this? They're all way too small. Yeah, the dolphin dippy. Even for a bottlenose, that's tiny. I mean, they're proportionally the right size to each other, I would say. But proportional to the diver, it, they're, they're not right at all. I like, how, I like how your guy's just standing there, doesn't give a shit. He's like, hmm, I'm unimpressed by this display. It's like, yes, I am the lord and master of these cetaceans. I think you all could do a little better than that. I mean, come on, huh? Yeah, I think they could too if you didn't make them do this for fucking... How long are they going to be doing this for? Ah, forever. It's not going to stop. Uh, we are stuck in this for the rest of eternity. Uh, this is this will be the rest of the LP. The next five videos will be this. Uh, you madman. <laughs> I think the orca is about the size that the beluga should be. I think that's yeah. basically how this works. Like, I mean, you look at it, yeah, it, it, it's basically the size of the orca should be how big the or beluga should be. I, and I don't think the bo bottlenose should be the size of the beluga, but, it, you know, it should be bigger. Unless they're all juveniles, which is kind of stupid. In the second one, they are juveniles, so... They flat out say it, so... So I guess they realize their inaccuracy? Did someone Probably. take them a task over it or something? Like, I found this game highly inaccurate, the whales were too small. Like, someone, like, started yelling at them and, like, what, you went with the juvenile <sighs> sizes. And they're like, we have to correct this in the second game. We have to make it absolutely clear, these are juveniles. Uh... Anyways, that's it for the display, and that's it for the update. See you next time at the final update. Video's over! What the hell type of Osprey was that?